Hello once again everybody, welcome back to Train Sim World 3 and we've got a bit of a Christmas special uh, this is the final episode um, the, the final video I'm doing before Christmas so yeah, this is going to be a good one um, <clears throat> so this is Christmas DLC uh, it's the Holiday Express Runaway Elf <laughs> uh, There's a, a the elf has been up to some mischief in the living room, moving presents around, stealing things, unplugging stuff. Uh, there's a load of there's a load of like apparently short missions. <clears throat> so I've got no idea how long this is going to take. I intend for it to be two episodes, um, you know, to to take us uh, right up to the new year. Uh, but we'll see. Um, the the scenarios are all named after uh, movies, it would seem. Uh, so, the <laughs> Lost Toys, Batteries Not Included, The North Coal, Breakfast Hub, Try Hard, <laughs> Short Circuit, and Plight of the Navigator. Um, all very classic movies. I'm not entirely sure about The North Coal, but all the others I recognise. Uh, so yeah, we'll get started with the Lost Toys, where the elf has scattered toys around the room. Using the train and its freight cars to take the presents back to their rightful place under the tree. So I'm not entirely sure um, how that's going to pan out, because obviously I haven't played these before. Very quick loading time though, that's great. So let's see... Upon this night, one and all are sound asleep. And normally you would not hear so much as a peep. Alas, a naughty elf filled with glee has taken presents from under the tree. Oh, there he is. There's the bastard. <laughs> That's where you come in to right this mess. And with a big red train, it'll be a quick process. Follow the instructions to make a start. <clears throat> it won't be long before you know the controls off by heart. That doesn't really rhyme. That doesn't really, um, that doesn't really go through very well. <clears throat> I had a little um, experiment uh, with the on foot mode, and all the controls are very easy for children to understand. Uh, you'll find out when we get in. Oh, there's a bit of Christmas music going on as well. We'll leave the doors open. <laughs> Sit in the big seat. <laughs> Set the direction to forwards. Direction stopped. It's stopped. <laughs> the big break to no effort at all. All effort gone. <laughs> it's kind of cute, really. We'll get it up to notch eight eventually. Let's come out and have a look. Very nice. Slap it into notch 8 just to trigger that, shall we? Lovely. I'm not entirely sure where we're actually going. Because all it said was that, yeah, just get moving. So let's slow things down a bit. There we are. That's fast enough. Reduce power and be prepared to stop. A little bit of a tutorial, I suppose. Well, there we are. Go via location, fireplace. Oh, that's maximum effort. Stop the train under the Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, I uh, slow down a bit too much. Come on. Brake pressure coming out. Brake cylinder down. There we go. I really don't like these brakes. If this is meant for kids, then the brakes should be a bit easier for like little brains to understand. So all effort gone. Come on, bail it off. So Christmas tree is over there. All the junctions are set for us. 
at the moment, which is very nice. So just stop behind the Christmas tree, is it? Do we have all our stuff on us already? No power. Increasing effort. <laughs> and then that's so much effort. It's like, wow. <laughs> Unload the train. <laughs> Click on the presents. Okay, well, I'm going to try and get a a screenshot. Oh no, not here. It's dark here. I'll get a screenshot later, it's fine. Right, I can sprint, that's fine. Then click on the present to unload it. Well, I will if I can get close enough. That's not working. Oh, I've, I've really got to get right close to it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it's just that other present was just so big. There we are. Is that everything? With all the presents back under the tree, that will make the kids all very happy. God. <laughs> And yes, that was that was that one. It didn't take long. Didn't take long at all. All right, then we're back here. I just had to go back and get a, a new. <laughs> I just went back to get a screenshot. Right. So uh, batteries not included. Once again, the elf has been up to no good. He's taken all the batteries and hidden them away. Search high and low and make sure all the toys are ready for play. So what kind of terrible poems will we have this time? Let's find out. Oh, that's quite cool. All around the room, the toys look sad. This mischievous elf can't help being bad. He's taken the batteries from every last one. You'll need to retrieve them all for this chaos to be undone. Exactly. It doesn't quite... doesn't quite go. So it would appear that we're on foot for this one. Just uh, get a bit of a screenshot there as well, because that's quite nice. So, um, yes, it's just those two batteries, isn't it? Can we go down here? And I don't particularly want to um, jump. Oh, that's great, I'll jump. <laughs> There's one all the way over there. And that train's just going around. Lovely. <laughs> sprint, 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 sprint. So you've got to get up there. As I said, I've been on foot around here before, and it's it's quite an interesting room. There's all sorts around here. So you've got uh, train trumps. And this is uh, the official rail something or other. That's a very old, <laughs> old British train there. The Rail Fan Annual, 1987. So here we go, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a lift made out of cardboard. Oh, elevator music. Lovely. I mean, it's Christmassy. It's not as if I recognise the tune. There's nothing printed on it. That's a train tramps card. He's gone to the effort of putting a photo on it. But no information. That's a bit cheap. <laughs> And of course they're all face down. 
so you can't see what what they are. Anyway, here's a battery. It's bloody massive. Pick me up. <laughs> right, it's just that one over there, is it now? There's a train going around again. Jump. Whee! That's a long way down. It's a very long way down. Ah. Just having a little run around. I mean, we're up to like 13 minutes now. So it's not as if this has been, you know, particularly slow. But still, each of these scenarios are listed as five minutes. So, considering that this has taken us longer than ten minutes, for the two of them, uh, you'd think... You'd think they'd underestimated the time somewhat. Oh, there's a big gap in the cushions. I'm loving the Hot Wheels track representation here. <laughs> There's the train going around the tree again. So do we just collect them? Do we have to return them anywhere? Plug the batteries into the toy. Oh, it's just the one toy, is it? Or are we going to have to do this for multiple toys? Anyway. We'll put the batteries in and we'll see. I do like what they've managed to achieve with the the engine, though. <laughs> it's like it clearly wasn't designed for this. Uh, okay, so we've got to go up the skateboard. Just got to go up the skateboard. It's very pink, though. You get an idea of the kind of kids that live here. So we've got a girl who likes skateboards. Oh, there you are, you little bastard. And there's a robot toy. So, uh, because there's four stockings, that implies there's at least two children. No, it's, it's not up there, is it? Well, you'd be away with you, with your mischievousness. Insert batteries. There we go. Power it up. Let's switch around the front. I, yeah, there we go. Nice big switch. <laughs> the toys all have power. That's some fine work at this late night hour. But it's only the one toy. <laughs> it's only the one toy. Yes, this is the one where he... Uh, he scattered coal all over the place and we've got to return it to the fireplace. There you are, you little bastard. The misbehaving elf has tried to put out the fire by being troublesome again. Let's put an end to this strife by using the train. That doesn't rhyme at all. I think they've given up now. Okay, it would be nice if we could move on from this now. Take this short formation around to the crane and fill it with some coal dust to ensure the fire stays aflame. Right, that does kind of rhyme. <laughs> Not entirely sure um, why they insist on rhyming at times and not others. But there we are. Right, direction forwards. Take the brake off and apply power. Go to our location fireplace. So, a quick look at the map. I mean, if I was a kid and I had this model railway um, at home, this would be fantastic. So, that goes all the way around there. Okay, so we've got the brake off. 
Oh yeah, there we go. We just need a decent amount of power. There we go. There we go. More power. So the final scenario in all of this um, is labelled as quite difficult. It's red and it's 25. Is it, was it 25? I can't remember now. It might have been like 15 minutes long. Uh, but it's... It's more difficult. I think you're going to have to be shunting things around to get things in order to spell out something. At least I assume that's what that was. Stop in location, garden door. The other way, there we are. Nice. Doesn't really seem to be accelerating very much. You think it would? In position 5, but uh, no. Going uphill, just keep the speed on. Take the power off now. A little effort puts it into 8.7. Maintain current effort really does nothing. And then there's the increasing effort. Then you snap it into maximum effort. But that appears to be in the right place, pretty much. Carefully moving the train at less than 5 miles per hour, crawl under the toy loading tower. Okie doke. Just so you know, we'd better leave it at that. If we have a free camera and go over here, we should be able to see exactly what we're doing. It's quite bright, that, isn't it? Okay, well, the brakes are off. I can't see the train at all. Four miles an hour, five. I'll leave it at that for now. Oh, it slows down quite quick, look. Two's a bit too much. One kind of holds it there. It's not slowing down anymore. It was slowing down when we took the power off. Like that earlier. Okay, we're going slow enough now anyway. <laughs> oh, this is fun. You might have noticed little like flashes of light. Uh, yeah, there are collectible coins around the map as well. I haven't done any, but there are. Okay, so that's five miles an hour. That's the speed we were instructed to do. It's just a case of loading the coal. How fast are we loaded? We've got to go a lot slower than that. We'll do it in reverse. <laughs> or is that all we need? No, see it said five miles an hour. It did, didn't it? It said five miles an hour. So there I am driving through at five miles an hour. And apparently that's too quick. Ah, dearie me. Make your mind up, game. Do you want me doing five miles an hour? Or maybe three? If you want me to do three miles an hour, tell me. And I'll do three miles an hour. Should have plenty of time now to fill that to the brim. Lovely. I don't know why that one's green. Oh, maybe they're green because they're over 50% full. I see. So this will hit 50 and then it will trigger. There we go. <laughs> 
to keep the elf guessing on what you're up to, drive around the room so he doesn't try to disturb you. Switches on the track manually controlled. So keep an eye on that direction and set them yourself if they point to the wrong road. Go via location bookcase. Right. Uh, bookcase is up there. So just checking the points. And the switches, yeah, they're all fine up to the bookcase. Okay, break off. Wait for that to release. <laughs> Put it in four, get a good bit of throttle going. That was a bit too much. See, why aren't we moving? We've got the brake off. Oh dear me. <laughs> it needs all of our amps. All of our amps to get moving. I mean, we are loaded up with coal, so yeah. That's going to add a lot more weight. Is that fine? Yes, it is. Let's get some more throttle on, shall we? Because we've just got to go via the location. We don't have to stop there. And somebody thinks Santa smells. He doesn't. He really doesn't. <laughs> I mean, we're right by the fireplace now anyway, so why can't we just unload here? That's what I would do. I mean, what's he going to do? <laughs> what's the naughty elf going to do? We've got plenty of momentum going now. Sofa station, let's see where it's that. That's around here, that's all fine. So we go under here, there's the sofa station. Well, I must admit, this kid's parents must be quite, um, quite relaxed about having all of this in their bed, in their living room. My location Christmas tree. Right, that's fine. Because having to step around all of this all day on Christmas Day is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> but hey, I, I'd say it's worth it. As long as things don't get too out of hand. So that's the, the Christmas tree. We have not lost any speed at all. Sideboard. It's all the way around here. They did say something about changing things manually, but we haven't had to. We've kept an eye on them, but yeah, we haven't had to. All this space behind the sofa. Still doing 30 something miles an hour fine. Will we have to stop anywhere soon? Really have just done a huge loop here. It's under the sideboard and then where? Stop at the fireplace. Okie doke. Looks okay to me. Apply a little effort. No, that's, um, the effort increases fairly slowly. Maintain that. Oh. Great. We 
did indeed go down the wrong track. Put it in reverse and we'll go back and try again. Put it in four because we know it takes quite a lot of power to get this thing moving. too much because then we'll go too far. There we go, put the brake on. Can't be going downhill now so we need a bit more that we were doing. There we are. There we go, that's pointing the right way now. Fantastic. So, because we're going uphill, apply the power first and then take the brake off. So hopefully that'll bring us up and not let us roll down. Oh, we're trying, but it's not really doing anything, is it? Yeah, there we go. We're sliding backwards now. <laughs> we'll slide backwards down to the bottom and then we'll get a bit of speed up to go up the hill. It's fine. flat now anyway. Apply that forward power. And there we go. So that was a bit strange, but there we are. <clears throat> Come on, a bit more power. We're maintaining speed going up the hill, so that's okay. We must bleed the speed off now. Put some effort in onto the brakes. I'm going to slam the brakes on. Lovely. That should keep the living room warm. Let's see how you did by checking your form. <laughs> uh, uh, not uh, not 100% well, but still, that'll be fine. The North Coal. There's no stop accuracies on here that we need to worry about, really. Yeah, it's fine. Alright then, so we've done the lost toys, battery's not included, once again the elf's been up to no good, he's taken all the batteries and hidden them away. The naughty elf has put coal dust in the Christmas stocking, see what you can do to return it to the fireplace. <clears throat> so I think we'll do that one, the breakfast hub, and then we'll, um, we'll leave it for today. And we'll do these three next week. See, this one here looks pretty hard. It is 25 minutes long. I thought it was. <coughs> so yes, the breakfast hub. The gingerbread house is not yet finished. Gather up the final pieces and bring it all together. Sounds good. Here it is. Work around the room has not yet stopped. The unfinished gingerbread house is still to be topped. Huh. People have been taking bites out of it. It seems like the elf scattered bits far and wide. Gather them up for enjoying this treat cannot be denied. 
once again it's just not uh, once again it's not really rhyming very well there's so many of them there's three over there there's two over there there's one bit over there Oh, those are the three over there. Right, okay. They're all over the place. Right, well, this is a on-foot job. I'd need to jump down to get over there, so we'll do these first. So, sort of uh, candy canes. Grab. <laughs> I like that it's not just uh, collect or pick up, it's grab. Okay. How do you get over there? There must be a way up, like up the back or side or somewhere. I see you. I'll be back for you. So that you go up that way. And then there's stuff over there. Right, yes, we'll, we'll go for this one. Oh, yes, I just made the bridge thing. <laughs> up the ramp. Up this one. That's um, a piece of gingerbread on some icing. Right, so there's something on the floor over there. We'll grab that one. Then there's those three pieces. Those more candy canes. They really did go quite a long way. How do you get on that that thing then? It's got to be a way, because there's no bridge from the table. There's... Nothing down here like an elevator. There's nothing along this side. There's nothing up the back. I've definitely not seen how to get there. Do you have to jump across or something? How'd you get that one then? You can't just jump across there. Is there a hidden way up and up underneath? No, there isn't. Can't get underneath there. How'd you get up there then? Oh, that's interesting. Well, let's go and grab these pieces while we're over here. There's a, there's a lot of sprinting involved in this. <laughs> but at least whoever set this place up was kind enough to leave little ramps. Because that helps quite a lot. So that's over here by this elevator. Some more candy canes. Yeah. How many of these do you need? So, something up there. So, up this one. I assume it's up this one. Oh, the music. <laughs> So presumably up here, and then sort of drop down. How do we get that one though? Very conveniently placed book. Sitting here, there's a ramp. Ah, there we go. That's right here. Grab the gingerbread. So that's down there at the bottom of that ramp. You must be able to get across there somehow. I know... My, my brain knows that that is completely fake. That this is just a computer game, but it still causes your stomach to sort of rise a bit. Right, let's go back up here and see if we can get that final piece. You've got to be able to get to it. There's there's nothing around it to climb up. So you must be able to just like jump onto it. 
There's got to be a way of doing it. There you go, see? It's a coin. Oh. Aha! <laughs> no wonder there was nothing. It's still, like, can you jump? You can't jump. So, open and close. Oh. There's an invisible wall that just, that just let you do that. <laughs> okay. Um, grab the chocolate. There we go. I'll accept that. <laughs> it's a bit daft, but I'll accept that. I like the look of this board game. That's kind of cool. Apply the food that you found. Change candy cane. Secure the side. On and off. <laughs> oh, let's renovate the roof. Gotta be something else on uh, there we go, fixed floor. That was it. Oh, that's what the candy canes are, they're just sticking out the top. Okay, fine. Stand back and admire your work. Okay, I'll come over here and do it then. <laughs> nice. Thank you for completing this yummy delight. We're sure those who eat it will enjoy every bite. <laughs> oh, it's terrible rhymes, but somehow it works. <laughs> okay. Well, we're at 40 minutes, so that's perfectly fine for an episode. That looks as if it's going to be quite fun. So, um, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a Merry Christmas and goodbye.